Congo's investigation has revealed that the nation stands to lose up to $10 million in a National Lottery Authority contract for the supply of point-of-sale terminals. The contract with Techstart Africa is for the purchase of Nexco N5 point-of-sale devices to expand the operations of the NLA. But Joy News discovered that while the product was sold at between $172 and $344, the National Lottery Authority agreed to purchase its device at almost $850. Techstart Africa has already supplied 5,000 of the devices to the NLA for which the authority in December 2018 authorized the release of 20.4 million cities into an escrow account of tech company. There's more in the following report. According to the document available to join News, the price of the product appears to have been significantly inflated. In a letter dated October 23, 2018, which was to be sent to the Director General for signing an onward transmission to the PPA, the price of the Nesgo N5 Smart POS terminal was pegged at $207 per device. According to this letter, the cost of the 30,000 Nesgo N5 POS terminals was $6,238,423. The company compared this price to the previous point-of-sale devices procured by the NLA and argued that the price of the Chinese product compares favorably with these given the proprietary features available for the e-kiosk project and its dual functionality for both lottery operations and the VAS platform. The devices previously bought by the NLA were in Janito, bought at $365 each and TPS 300, which is currently being used by the NLA, bought at $440 each. These devices were procured in 2010 and 2015. Join News obtained an invoice from Shenzhen Technology in October 2019. The price range given on the invoice was $172.260 per device, depending on the number of terminals one was buying. The specifications given mirror exactly what was offered by the NLA. According to this invoice, a buyer who is taking less than a thousand pieces of the N5 terminals would be required to pay $260 per terminal. If the buyer was acquiring more than 10,000 pieces, however, a terminal would cost $172 per device. Therefore, since the NLA was buying 30,000 pieces, the authority should have been paying $172 per device and not $860. It should be noted that the $172 is FOB Hong Kong, Techstart Africa, quoted $650 or $637 if you consider the 2% reduction in price as your FOB Hong Kong price per device. Meanwhile, the National Lottery Authority is disputing details of investigative piece. A press statement released by the Public Relations Unit of the Authority described the investigative piece as baseless without any idle fruit. There's more in the following report. It says the National Lottery Authority NLA is very disappointed at the unprofessional and unethical conduct of Joy News and Joy FM and Multimedia Group Limited over unfair, untrue and biased reports on the procurement of Nexgo Android point-of-sale terminals by the authority. First and foremost, the whole content of the documentary is baseless and without any iota of truth. It is never true that the cost of the Android point-of-sale terminals were inflated by the Director General of the National Lottery Authority as alleged by the Joy News Joy FM Multimedia Group Limited. It is also never true that the National Lottery Authority has procured 30,000 Android point-of-sale terminals. The Public Procurement Authority gave approval to the authority to procure 30,000 point-of-sale terminals, but according to financial strength of the authority, only 5,000 out of the 30,000 point-of-sale terminals have been purchased. The cost and negotiations for the award of contract to the manufacturer, Shenzhen Zingudu Technology Limited, was approved by the Public Procurement Authority. 
the Public Procurement Authority directed the NLA to negotiate for a 5% discount on the contract sum prior to the award of the contract to Shenzhen Jingudu Technology Limited. However, due to the inability of the local partner of Shenzhen Jingudu Technology Limited to offer the 5% discount as requested by Public Procurement Authority, the PPA therefore directed the National, Authority, uh, National Lottery Authority to go for a 3% reduction instead. The Public Procurement Authority tasked the manufacturer, Shenzhen Jingudu Technology Limited, and its local partner to deliver the point of sale terminals to the NLA through delivery duty paid DDP if Joy News Joy FM Multimedia Group Limited understands what is DDP with the greatest of respect they would not have come up with this bogus documentary of cost inflation however their ignorance cannot be forgiven